Okay, we just saw Annihilation. Uh, Natalie Portman, same director as Ex Machina. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this movie after seeing it. Uh, it was pretty wild. Pretty <laughs> wild. Uh, I've never seen anything like it before. Um, some crazy visuals. Um, super original story. Um, I'm still recovering after watching it. Not really sure how I feel. I think I liked it. Um, it's, the visuals were beautiful. That's really all I can say right now is that it was just it was beautiful. It's really the movie's like nothing I've ever seen before. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna give it as a grade. Um, I'd say like like high 80s. Low 90s is what I got. That's all I got right now. 90? Nothing, nothing concrete. 90? No, yeah. I'm not saying 90. Well, that something, is, that something fl in the range. fluid number is probably appropriate for this film. <laughs> um, wow, it was wild, and it is quite as he said, and unlike anything I've seen before. I thought the acting was solid. Uh, I, it very, I can only imagine they were acting against green screens the entire time this movie was being shot. Um, but. Are you saying you didn't believe the special effects? Oh no, the special effects were gorgeous. Okay. I don't know how great the acting was, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But the acting was fine. Uh, I thought the acting, I thought Natalie, Port this is Natalie Portman's movie. Uh, everybody else is secondary. This is not an ensemble piece. This is her movie from start to finish. Um, she does a very nice job with the role. She very different for her. You know, very non-standard Natalie Portman-esque role. So I would say she's good. Everybody else is fine. Tessa Thompson, uh, Gina Rodriguez. Was Tessa Thompson? Tessa Thompson from playing a very. Di you know what? She probably deserves credit because she is like a chameleon lately, playing radically different things in everything I've seen her in, from Creed to Thor Ragnarok to this. She plays a different character every time and blends into the role, I feel like. So she was doing some yeoman work there. Uh, God, what's the older lady? Uh, I forget. I'm blanking on names. I'm just, she was uh, in uh, Hateful Eight. She's a brilliant actress. She's been Jennifer in a million. Jason Lee. Jennifer Jason Lee, thank you, bots. Jennifer Jason Lee, uh, very quiet in this. She's usually more intense, louder, you know? Plays a very quiet, understated role, and. The other actress, I don't know. Uh, so there's five main actresses in the part, movie, and I don't know that actress at all. Uh, haven't seen her in anything else. I might have, but she d did not strike out to me. Oscar Isaac also plays a fairly prominent role as the role of Natalie Portman's husband, Kane. Uh, but, uh, um, what do you want people to know about this movie? It's incredibly, incredibly visually inventive and brilliant, and I, it's unlike anything I've seen. It's one. Of, it's a very rare film, in as much as there's really not anything like it. So that being said, I would have to say, based on the originality alone, although it's the story itself is very by the numbers, I would say. 88 out of 100, I think uh, I'm comfortable giving that. That's a recommendation, I would go see it, but it's not elevated for me. Yeah. Well, so for me, it's an R-rated science fiction movie, so right off the bat, it's like home run. Then it's Alex Garland, who's done Ex Machina, he did Dread, he's done a lot of great work, and he's the, you know, he, He's the writer and the director, but it's based on a book. I don't know. I'm in the bag for this dude. Like, I think he's just one of the most gifted directors out there. I thought this was visually beautiful. It's a lot of, like, um, classic, like, movie shots, like walking down a tunnel and the lights flowing from behind her. And the visuals are completely original. They're almost like, you wonder how, like, they get this sort of, fluorescent rainbow effect to be in all over the sh to be in all the shots and over the shots because that's what takes place in the shimmer there's some story structures for me that I don't know if I would have went with you know they sort of they jumble it up so you're like fast forward and jumping at different parts of the story oh, yeah, which sort of revealed some things about the story that maybe you could have just you know like 
kept us in the shade to, to sort of draw up like sort of the uh, like what what's gonna happen um, the ending while clear leaves a lot of questions it's almost like I want to like hear like somebody else break down this film like I want to hear the writer and the director be like all right this is what actually it's happened the same guy. right <laughs> I want to I want to see Alex Garland um, break this movie down at that themic heart of annihilation uh, it's a film about self-destruction and self-destruction could include psychological self-destruction you know self-destruction via behavior human behavior and um Natalie Portman, I thought was fantastic. She was like a badass in this. Um, let's see, what Did else? Did you believe her as a badass in this? Yeah, I totally believed her. I, I'm like, I'm, but again, I think I'm in the bag for Natalie Portman. I think she's really talented and um, she's great. Um, let's see, what else did I want to say about this movie? Yeah, definitely. Here, so visually, like extraordinary, like brand new, something super new. But I thought they like pulled punches a little bit with, there was like no nudity in the film. I'm like, it's an R-rated movie and his last movie there was a lot of nudity. I'm like, oh, there's, so we got the big star, so no nudity. And it, it's sort of just like. Her naked back was featured a lot. Right, but it was Hints like. Hints of nudity, but no nudity. No nudity. And then a couple of subplots to the story which add depth to the character, but there was a lot of times where they're sitting around talking and then explaining everything that happened to you or what happened in the story to, to leave it. So, some conventional ways of getting supposition in, which, you know, you lose points for that. You lose points for that. So, but again, R-rated science fiction, definitely support it, definitely go see it. I give it a, I give it an 80, I give it an 88 like my brother. I thought it was very, very well done and uh, it's definitely a movie you can think about and talk about for like hours to come after. All right, like and subscribe, comment. I love you. Peace. Thanks, bots, for filming.